Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode of Shit No One Asked For, but here we are anyway. Uh, okay, so not really, but kind of really. Uh, but first things first, if my skin looks really oily and kind of pebbly, um, it's because I tried out some new skincare and this was the result. A wonderful allergic reaction. My face is literally so itchy right now, like I don't know what to do with myself. Um, but anyway, what are we talking about? Shit no one wanted, but you know, here we are anyway. Well, what I'm talking about is this new Stila Glitter and Glow, uh, highlighter. There are three of these, they're $30 each, and you get... 0.20 fluid ounces and you can get this at Sephora. I don't know if it's available on the Stila website. I haven't seen it on the Ulta website, so I'm not sure if it's available there. But yeah, I was in um I was in Sephora yesterday and uh I went to get a new one of the um the new glitter and glow sh eyeshadows. Um and I saw these and I was like, "Holy crap." And I swatched all of them and the only one that appealed to me was this one, Queen. Uh, so I picked it up, and, uh, one of the shadows as well, which I'm probably, it's the new Glitter and Glow shadow, so I'm probably gonna do a review on that at some point, not sure when. So I picked this up, and this is a highlighter, and the formula is similar to that of the, um, the Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. It is the same packaging, just larger. Um, it looks like this. This is the shade Queen. And let me swatch it real quick. That's what the shade looks like. And I swatched all three of them. There's this one, Queen. There's another one, I can't remember the name. It is a more, I don't know, pinky version of this. This is kind of a purple. This is a purpley version. Like, you can't really see it very well. And then there's Kitten Karma, which is like a, a tan bronze, which I almost got that one as well, but this one is one that was actually really calling my name, so I picked this one up instead. Now, I played around with this yesterday. I didn't mean to, but I was really, really curious about it. Um, so I played around with it for a little while yesterday. Mm -hmm. I pretty much know my thoughts on this already, but I will tell you that I was told by the associate in the store that the way to apply these is to take the wand dab it onto the cheek like that and then just tap it in with your finger now I don't know if you can see and this is why I say shit nobody wants but here we are anyway I don't know if you can see very well but for one thing it does not blend in very well in the skin for because the formula is extremely chunky it's full of glitter um, so as a highlighter, I honestly don't know what Stila was thinking, um, because it doesn't really work as a highlighter. If you try to use it with a brush, it literally stays in one place. Also, it dries so damn quickly. Let me try again. Now you can see what it looks like on the skin. But you have to put so much on for it to actually show up that I I just don't, I mean it looks nice but here's the thing, also. it dries super quick. Um, you have to work very quickly in order to make it look right on the face. It is very chunky glitter. It is very chunky glitter. You will see glitter particles on your face without a doubt that is going to happen. Did you hear me? you will have glitter particles on your face. Let me tell you something, I love glitter as much as the next girl, but walking around with like big ass pieces of glitter on my face, like that is not the move. Like <clears throat> you can't really see, it just looks really cute on camera right now, but in real life, I just look like I have a ton of glitter slapped on my cheek right here. That's exactly what that looks like. Now, that was two things. Third, if you have textured skin, if you have any kind of texture on your skin, it is going to emphasize the hell out of that texture and make it look worse. So in one sense, I'm pissed off that I broke out from the, the cosmetics, the skincare that I tried. But on the other hand, I'm really happy that I did because now I can tell you that, honey, if you don't have perfect skin, don't even bother. This, as a highlighter, is 
to me a complete fail. However, I am not going to take it back because it does double well as a eyeshadow. As you can see, this is what I'm wearing um, on my lids right now. It is a really freaking gorgeous eyeshadow color. So I'm keeping this, but if you're buying this thinking that it's going to be a great highlighter, just forget it. It's not. So yeah, there are three shades. I did take pictures of the swatches, but really I got this one because based on the swatches in store, based on the consistency, it's super chunky, by the way. It is very chunky. You can still see the particles of glitter on my hand right there. It's extremely chunky. It doesn't work well as a highlighter, in my opinion. The formula is literally a dupe of the glitter and glow shadows it's just this is a glitter and glow shadow in a bigger bottle that's it now if the formula had been similar to the shimmer and glow shadows it might work as a highlighter but it's not it's too chunky it dries too quickly and the glitter particles are just too too much I think these are going to be a hit with people though simply because you can wear it as a eyeshadow as well and this color in particular I don't think is available in um, Stila's regular line so this color in particular um, is a good eyeshadow color like I said I'm wearing it right now and it is absolutely freaking stunning I'm a fan of wearing it as an eyeshadow but as a highlighter no I'm gonna have to pass on that no so if you're going to go into it thinking you're going to get like a banging highlighter, um, you might be a little bit disappointed if you don't like glitter all over your face because, yeah, it's chunky ass glitter on your cheek. However, if you like that sort of highlighter, do you? If you want to go into it thinking, hey, I'm going to get a super duper awesome eyeshadow that's not available in the regular range, then you would be winning. So, yeah, go into it thinking, great eyeshadow iffy highlighter and you'll be okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. As usual, it's been fun and I will see you in the next one.